Hey there, I'm Lindsay with The Culture Project, and today we're tackling the question of all questions. When does human life begin? It's so important we ask the question of when life begins from a biological and scientific perspective and ask what that means for human rights. If we don't, we will never have a standard of protection for human persons. Culturally, there are many debates about the question of when life begins. Some say life begins at conception, some at the moment of implantation, and still others at a later time, when the child's heart starts beating, when they can feel pain, or when they're self-aware. In this video, we will argue that the genesis of human life Life begins at fertilization. So what exactly happens at the moment of fertilization? When a man and woman have sexual intercourse, millions of the father's sperm race to fertilize the mother's egg located in a woman's fallopian tube. If one sperm does make its way into the fallopian tube and burrows into the egg, it fertilizes the egg. It is impossible to deny that something significant begins at this moment of fertilization. What once was sperm from the father and an egg from the mother becomes a fertilized egg cell carrying a new and complete set of of DNA, which differs from mom and dad. At this point, all unlearned characteristics of that person are determined, such as height, eye color, and hair color. From there, one cell becomes two, and the little zygote grows into an embryo. It wouldn't be logical to conclude that the sperm inside a man's body or an egg inside a woman's body on its own would constitute as a person, just as it wouldn't be logical to conclude that a child came into existence when they walked into the room. However, at the moment of fertilization, a DNA structure which makes this person distinct from his or her parents is established. The only changes that come after the moment of fertilization is in change and appearance. Just as a child has changed in age and appearance since they were an infant, and as I as an adult have changed in age and appearance since adolescence. The American College of Pediatrics says this, the predominance of human biological research confirms that human life begins at conception. At fertilization, the human being emerges as a whole, genetically distinct, individualized, zygotic living human organism, a member of the species Homo sapiens, needing only the proper environment to grow and develop. The difference between the individual in its adult stage and in its zygotic stage is one in form, not nature." End quote. At this point, it should be clear that scientific consensus is unambiguous. Life begins at fertilization. If you want to learn more about this topic, please visit loveunleasheslife.com. Thanks so much for watching. Please click here to subscribe and here to watch more videos.